Welcome back, everyone. Doing more seven days to die, as one does. So let's go ahead and just jump right into that. I'll waste too much time here. Previously, we had run around and found some really good loot. Not the most amazing of loot, mind you, but we found some pretty cool loot. That is definitely what we did. Uh, now that I'm kind of remembering stuff, I think we actually have enough to make a motorcycle? Let's look at that real quick. I don't think the storage is any bigger than the mini bike. It could be, but at the same time, it should be faster, a little more durable. Let's take a look, shall we? The one thing I do think we will need, though, is a tire. So that would be something we'd have to look at. Let me actually look. Where would we get this? Maybe I can craft tires, can't I? I need one, I'll just craft one. All right, let's take a look at that real quick. All right, motorcycle. There's motorcycle chassis and handlebars. We can make both. Oh boy, so we need forged steel 37. We have plenty of that. I think we also needed um, leather. Uh, let's go electrical parts, mechanical parts, probably duct tape at some point, probably springs. Uh, I don't remember what else it said. Probably pipe, more than likely. That would be my guess. Uh, what did I miss? Nothing, okay. Mechanical parts, headlights. Be in the parts chest. Get a wheel. Engine. We'll get a shitty battery because the batteries don't matter for vehicles. Okay. Over here. Alright. What am I missing? Wait, I need 11 headlights? No, I have 11 headlights. Oh, duct tape's what I'm missing. Oh, okay. Of course. Right, I'm just dumb. Alright. Let's go ahead and craft the motorcycle handlebars. And then for the chassis, I'm uh, missing duct tape now. Okay. I just need to make more duct tape is all, which is quite simple. I think it's that, yeah? Duct tape. I'll go ahead and just make all of it real quick. And uh, at least we'll have a bunch then. So let's go ahead and store those back. We might as well also take out our bones. And... I'm drawing a blank. Uh, uh, murky water. Come over to the station here. We can make a bunch more glue, but but real quick, anything else get made with bones? Not really. Okay. Let's go ahead and use this basically stack of murky water to make a bunch of glue, just so we have it in our reserve here. Okay, we'll go ahead and store this murky water back. And to build a chassis and then after that we need to make another wheel so let's see wheel is oil coal acid polymer and iron okay i have acid do i have coal I have some coal do i have enough coal oh, i have just enough coal that is lucky i think i needed two oil and polymer and then two forged iron, which I don't think I have. Oh, what if I got some? Here we go. Let's go ahead and make that wheel. And then I'll just store the rest of these components back. To actually make the motorcycle itself, I only need the battery and stuff, so I can store the rest of this. That's great. And the parts, I'll just throw the lights back in there. Now we just gotta wait for another minute. We'll have this done. So I'm actually going to go out here and let's go ahead and take the up there. I'm going to pick this bad boy up. Go 
if I set it down in here, does it still have fuel? It still has gas. I'm going to leave it here, just standing. Just so we have it. Uh, I don't know if the gas would despawn or anything, but it's better safe than sorry. You know? um, we might as well light these up while we're just sitting here, right? Right, it's concrete. I did it again. Keep doing it. Alright, do I have sand? I do not. I'm out of that. But that's fine. Okay. Here and there. Perfect. We gotta have some fun when we get that. Motorcycle. Alright. How are my materials looking? Forged iron is a little bit low. I think we're going to get into starting steel production. Let's go ahead and start making all the steel we can. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this stack of iron melting as well. Just so we have more iron as well to deal with when we need to. 20 seconds left, roughly. I'm going to take that and glue, and we'll just toss it into here since we use all of our glue. Have that there. I'm gonna take another like half stack of this clay and put it there. Get a lot of cement from there. Let's take that stack. I'm gonna combine it with down here. Okay. Perfect. All right, we got the chassis. Motorcycle will take two minutes. Wouldn't cancel the concrete. Go ahead and another one after that. So we got two minutes. And we will have our motorcycle. Excellent. Um, while that's going on, go ahead and let's just take a look how this works, shall we? So I think what I will do is if I put a... I'm not even sure what to do with this. Do I, I thought it would be able to go on the wall or something, but it just stands here? So if I put that there, and then put this one, like, here? What do I do with this? So combine it like that, and then... can't interact with it at all. I'm not sure if that's what I have to do or or what. Does it matter the order at which I combine these either? I don't think it does. Okay, well, anyway, let's go... I think I might need a relay, so let's grab those real quick. And then I will place a relay like here, or maybe there. If I do this to there, and then this to there, and then that to there, and this to there. I don't know how... How does this work? Uh, those are the electrical things, right? I didn't bring the wrong thing, right? Yeah, those are the electrical traps. I'm gonna have to look up a tutorial on how those work. I figured you would just have to run like a line. And then that would be how it works. But we got a motorcycle, so I think we're just gonna not worry about that right now. If I wanted to keep those, my bad. Okay, well, I wonder if I can get those back without, like, destroying them completely, right? Yep. Yeah, well, that's fine. Win some, you lose some. Turn that there. I'm going to turn off this furnace. And I'm going to go ahead and just turn this off. 
they go in turn this one off as well. Okay, and let's store back our cutters. So let's place this bad boy down and see how it looks, shall we? Oh yeah, that's a beastly looking thing. Yeah. Storage, uh, not storage for <laughs> oh, excuse me. Right, there's a refuel button. It did take 2,500 to fuel it up this far. Um, looks like a full tank was 3,000 gas. So maybe it uh, takes a whole hell of a lot. Anyway, let's go ahead and store our gasoline in there. There's enough for another tank almost. But I think our goal is going to be to get to the other city. Oh yeah, I can already tell it's a lot faster than the, the mini bikes. So. This goes. It's also a lot louder though, is the thing. Can I kill a zombie with it though? Oh, I can knock him down with this bad boy. It did take a point of damage though. Not that great, but whatever. Also lost 3% of gas already. Isn't ideal. Anyway, let's check out the town over here. What is... Oh! It's Journey's End. I think this is where you get the Super Corn at, if I remember correctly? Maybe? I don't know. We can search that later. The bike certainly is a little more fluid than the mini bike. Or the motorcycle is more fluid than the mini bike, I guess you would call it. Like, the turning is much more... fluid. Not... I'm just gonna run into a... through a fishtail. The middle here. And we got a repair shop there. We got a metalworks there. I'm gonna look for some stuff that looks good. We have a Undertaker casket. We have Duke's General Store, Easy Goods, Air Coal Mining, Thieves, Gun and Fun. Okay. We want to take a look at that real quick. Because. It says guns, there's gonna be guns there, right? Knock knock! Zombies first before we start looting. Come on, big mama. Go. There we go. Alright. I think I did see another like leg of a zombie over that way. Take this apart. I'll just search this trash here. Question, is this a window? It is. Let's just windows over that way. Don't care about those. Ladder up to there. Where there's zombies over here. I think it's just a brewery? Question mark. Crap. Stair made me go a little higher than I wanted to there. Fortunate. Right, well, search this little tanker area first. Oh. Oh. Hey, bud. Very rude of you. Anything in here? No? Anything obvious around the sides there? Just ignore this area then. Block. A little trash in here. I did. I saw like a uh, damage to the tank somewhere. Right there. There's a crate in there. If I hammer this, I'm not sure if this is going to break just the outside edge here or if it's going to break the entire thing there. So let's check this out. Okay. Oh. 
shipping crate of some sort. Can I, can I get it? There we go, I did. Hidden stash, we have this ergonomic grip, which I'm just gonna scrap, and we have it. Perfect. There's a zombie somewhere. Let me help you out, sir. Welcome to the party, Simon. Okay. This place over there didn't really have anything of value. Let's go ahead and search this room next. Crash here. Yep. Go. Throw these into that room. Crash here. Crash here. Really there. Raptors look clear. Oh! Is it that platform that's weak? I think it is. We'll just avoid the ones that look discolored. We got a small ammo stash. Excellent. Mm. What's out here? Can't tell if it's something important or if it's just another way in. Some sort of balcony, right? Yeah. So, nothing. Alright. Good enough. Come back down here. Another pop of pills. Any other crates to open? Doesn't look like it. We got some medicine and some bandages there. Medical supplies. Play case. These medical supplies. A gun rack here. Pocket launcher parts. Get those before we just sell them. Nothing on those shelves there. That's just a zombie attacking that. Alright, let's sort our inventory before we get too far here. Cooling mesh, huh? There are these bandages, the rotten meat, glass, this cloth, rocks. Something else I could loot over there. Um, let's go ahead and eat some of this meat. We are a little hungry. We'll eat two of them, I think. Okay, yeah, let's go. I don't feel like dealing with the zombies there for no real reason. Or what else we got? We got, uh, whatever that is, fine swine, so I guess it be meat or something. We got bath sauce. Okay, and then we got the rifle martyrs. It sounds like it could be another gun place. So let's go ahead and tear it down and see what we got. Check the surroundings. All right, honey, I'm home. Yeah. Really quick. Oh, 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 fuck. Not ideal. Get here for now. Damn it. Didn't want to get hit by her. Him, whatever. Go down. There was nothing down there. I'm gonna throw that away. There's something back here, so let's grab this. Rocks. With... Okay, well. We're down here. Is there really nothing down here? This was all just a trap, I guess. Junk pile there, but I don't really feel like getting the junk pile, being honest. Well, I can get that and open that up, but it's safe in here for right now. So let's go ahead and just bust this open. Pick that chest. Or the safe, I guess. It's not a chest. What's this? Hmm. But you can craft double pocket mods? Uh, this please? I don't think I know that one. Got the leg armor and the iron armor. All right, and let's go ahead and pick that. Oh, okay. 
I just wanted to see what the uh, the double pocket clothing thing did, but I accidentally canceled out of that. So decreases the cumberance penalty by two. Um, yes, please. Once we uh, get back to the base, we might actually make that. Because if I install that on all my stuff, I should be able to just eliminate my encumbrance completely, right? All right, safe's open. We've got a hunting rifle of perfect quality from, rifle, or from rocket launcher parts, I mean. Okay, what else can we get rid of? Let's go ahead and uh, drop the short pipe. Modification for melee weapons and tools lowers degradation. Can I put that on this? I can. Hell yes. All right. Uh, do I have any other modifiers right now? I have the cloth modifier. Can I put that on this? I can. Oh yeah. All right. Kind of get rid of that. Put the rifle on my hotbar. That way we can use it if we need to. Um, anything else right now? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this up. Stay off of that. Almost nightfall. But we do kind of want to be careful. I'm not sure I want to deal with zombies right now. Hey there, lady. Ow. Good of you. Okay. Handled. I don't know why I picked up the rock. Did I ever have cloth in my inventory? I didn't. So are these outside or are these. This one looks outside. What about this one? Is this one also outside? Be a room beyond this one. I think we'll actually break in here. Let's wait for him to come to me because my stamina and is down a little bit here. Okay. There we go. Let's just use this one bandage that I have to heal that attack she gave me. In there. What we got here? Iron scrap, I'll take it. it. Looks like we have a rooftop access. As a skinny boy. Here. And a normal gal. Oop, Mr. Head. Yeah, there we go. We have a foul trash up here. Grab that and get rid of the cloth. Hmm. Nothing else up here? Nope, just this that leads back down into the bedroom. Well, I think over here there was a platform, right? So let's just fall down here. Back to my bike. So not what I thought that was going to be in there, but that's fine. It looks like we might have gotten another row of inventory, I think. If I'm looking at that correctly. Okay, let's reload this rifle. Let's head to the next city. That is a huge city. At least it's very sprawling. Like, maybe it's only like one thing deep, but that is very big. It's almost night, so maybe we can find a uh, nice place to loot prior to night happening. What is that red thing? What's it? Uh, combine or something. Okay. Let's check down here first. This road. There's a bookstore there, it looks like. A bunch of farmland. A mansion of some sort. Church. More fancy housing. This must be the, the rich neighborhood, huh? We got some industrial structures over to our left. We got the farm here, which has actually corn, so that's kind of cool. More stuff down there, too. Can I get through this? Yeah, baby. 
kind of take a look. Downtown, we got a passing gas there, it looked like. And a sign. More corn. Go ahead and take a left here. Well, that was a dog right there. Not ideal. Got a vet clinic here. I didn't see a dog right there. I didn't want to. I don't think I want to deal with a dog right now. Because it is nighttime and that could cause us to get some very bad injuries. Let's just keep going. It looks like some sort of farming town. Got a nice lake here we can get some water from. We have a Bates Hotel. I just think Bates Motel. Nice. Giant four lease thing over there. Another motel here. Another uh, big old mansion over here. Oh my God, there's more stuff over there too. Yeesh. Lumberjack's Mill. Oh, a shopping cart. I tried to avoid it, but I was holding the right mouse button and I couldn't avoid it. See a uh, large building over there. That's kind of a dungeon. What we got down this road. We got honey. I don't know if there's actually honey there. I want to stop for no reason. We have Buddy's Grain. We have some more up over this way. Since it is getting to be night here in a couple minutes, let's take a look at these ones down here. Because it could be these are military bases. Oh my god, there's another tap. Oh my god. This base. Let's see. The loot here, I remember where it's at, so. If possible, we can. Hold on. There's a hole in the wall over there. Not. That's fine. Any birds right now? Not that I see. Okay. Well, actually, I think we will kind of go through this one like we normally would. That person woke up. I'm going to get on top of the truck. Lad, where, where did she go? Okay, lady. You went through a little bit faster than I thought you were going to. Toolbox here. Which will be can. Alright, army truck, you gonna give me anything good or are you gonna give me trash as usual? No, I hear that zombie too. See if we can get anything good from this. I'll always use springs since we can't make them. Good to have. Right, come here, sir. Got him. All right. Regenerate our stamina, and actually, I think we'll eat a little bit. Because it'll also heal us. So that's great. All right. Can I get through here? I cannot. This lady wants a piece. Hmm. Last time there was someone there, so... Let's actually go ahead and close that door. Deal with a guy coming from behind, you know. So we scrap all this stuff. We can get some forged steel and iron. Yep. If I remember correctly, there was stuff up in the rafters of this place. Let's just take what we can for now. Search real quick. Okay. It looks like 
We're alone here for right now. There's no one in the area. We'll just loot everything we can. And then dump our inventory of what we do not need. Everything. Okay. We go here. Don't see anything that way. We see that weapon bag over there, though. I can't open that door, but I think that if I get here, I can just grab that weapon bag and give us a move. Let's dump what we do not need, grab what we can. I don't need this coal or the, uh, up there. Are they attacking this door? They are. Let me to help you guys. Almost done? Come on. There you go. One hit. Two hits. Three hits. Easy. Get over yourself, sir. Okay. Now we're just going to go to the loot site. Not going to worry about other stuff here. We know where the high value loot is in this place. And just get down here, kill the zombinos who are gonna cause trouble. I'm gonna have to be careful with my stamina now. Luckily, the, uh, the, the entrance here seems to be tripping them up a bit. That's gonna help us out a lot. Gotta watch out for the ankle biter down there. Crap. He's down. The biggest threat's gone. Dealt with. Handled. You might say. Okay. Then we got the uh, crawler who's down there. I'm, I'm gonna leave the crawler alone. I don't want to go in there for no reason. Oh, clear up here. I'm gonna take what we can. Flip these open real quick. Really? You're really coming over here, huh? That's right, run away. Okay, let's think about this quick. Um, blah, 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 Yep, okay. he's down and I'm stuck. There we go. Well, where do you come from, Lanky? Yep, okay. handled. We got a book that we can read, but I don't know. If we have the time right now. Just where did the box go? I like it, man. I do not want to come in here. This is not the building I thought it was. That was my bad, though. Okay. Well, we are safe in here for right now. Let's go ahead and. Do some inventory maintenance real quick. All right, urban combat landmines won't detonate with stuff on. That's good to have. Um, another improved fittings mod. Ooh, these need to be uh, repaired quite badly, actually. Let's go ahead and take these off and uh, repair them. There's a dog somewhere. That is very not ideal for us. Did I just put it right back on? It did. Okay. Drop this bandage. Drop these bolts. Drop that steel sledgehammer. Let's go ahead and use these bandages. At least one of them. None of these coffee beans. 
for this cloth. Anyway, we can just go back through here the way we came. Run. Close the door. Go. All right. Come on, ladies. You want some? I was like, where did the truck go? But I was like, oh wait. Oh, wait, that's right. All right. Let's continue. Used up some good time there. Yeehaw, motherfuckers. Alright, what we got here? This deck looks like a military installation. Lost that one. Okay. All the stuff was at the top of that tower. What about this building over here? What's here? Ow. Hit my motorcycle, you jerk. This is a New Life Hope Cabin. Okay, we're not going to deal with that, because that looks like a very culty kind of thing. Even though it probably has a great dungeon loot stuff underneath it. Instead, go ahead and take a look over here at this somewhat small town. Oh God, there's also a house over there, ain't it? God damn. Houses everywhere, huh? We're gonna ignore that for now, though. I did. Oop, oop. Joe Bros Builders. Oh, that says. Yep. Time to take just a leisurely stroll around this town. We got uh, another buddy's grain. Logging company. I wonder if I'd find a chain slot in the logging company. No? I'm curious, but I'm not too curious to go into a place we do not know as unconfirmed loot at this time of night. We have a food store here. Might actually just loot this place quick. Oop. Couldn't just back up right to here. I'm gonna loot this shopping cart quick. You guys have an entrance there or nope, we're just attacking stuff willy nilly, okay. Wouldn't be odd if they're on me in a couple of seconds, though, so let's do what we can. That was faster than I thought. Gonna get his first. And the big guy. He's down. Okay, we are secure. There's a nurse still in there. Take a moment to recover our stamina and such. I think we have a spare bandage in the motorcycle, though. Might just use that for that. Okay. Move a little bit further back. Gonna be Hurtful if we don't. Out of stamina. Shit. Yep. Clear. But we have some issues coming up now. Also a big issue. So is the thing on the right. Gunshots really lure them in. Okay. 
Heard it reloaded. Perfect. An abrasion, right? Use first aid or bandages. Let's use my bandage. Actually, do that real quick. The good news is, though, we should be pretty much secure here. Um. Okay. Well, let's not waste time. Let's get on top of the shelf. That we have a bigger area to view. We can do that and miss that shot. Let's hit this guy then. Because then we'll have one guy hit. Don't hit me in the legs, lady. It's very rude. I could fall. Okay. Do I see anyone else? Here's someone. Shoot. Come on, skinny. Next. Go. Go. All right. Let's get back on the shelf for a little bit of relative safety while our stamina regens here. Okay. So, go ahead and eat this. Go ahead and scrap that. Kind of reorganize the inventory into stuff that we. That movement? No. We were going to our inventory into stuff we want to keep. Those of. So we have stuff that we know we want here. Go ahead and use the goldenrod tea to recover some fluids, and then I'll also use this to regenerate some more health. Okay. Go ahead and loot this place. I think that should be all the zombies. So. Oh, one more. Power attack is so nice that it just knocks like everyone down. Oh, shit. Or was that me stepping on a tile? It's probably me stepping on a tile, but you never know. Are you attacking the coolers from behind? Bastards. Nope. Ignore him for now. It'll become a problem at some point. A problem for later me. Not for present me. Search this one. That's all important. Tiles not being destroyed when I step on it. Also, that was a uh, vault door over there. See that? Why is that in a grocery store? I don't understand, like a metal door, but. Those are apples, huh? Interesting. I've never looted a grocery store before. This sort of layout did not exist when I played previously. That was a spider zombie. Must find some good seeds here. Potato seeds and what was that red seed? Is that a chrysanthemum seed? It was, okay. Not that I need those too badly. They spawn everywhere in the wild. But I'll take it for right now. First up was a dog. Yep. I'm fighting to get in, I'm just not sure if we're gonna succeed or not. It is daytime though, so only the dog would be running at me. Go ahead and just get in. Oh. 
go ahead and close that while we move this place. Ooh, we have a tier three crossbow. Compared to our bow, it uh it does more damage, but I don't think I want to switch to a bow right now. We have a rad remover mode? Disable regeneration ability of radiation zone? What the what? What is this for? I think I already know this one, right? Yeah. I'm gonna use it anyway, just in case. Uh oh, we got someone outside the door. Um, I'm not sure what that can go be placed on, but we'll take it. We should have some time before they get through the door. Let's at least loot everything first. Just in case we have to make a run for it. Um, oh, they're not through the door? Okay. Never mind. I thought I saw, like, limbs clipping through. Good. Must have been my imagination. I close that, I can. Go ahead and do that, then. Okay, um, scrap that. Blueberry pie. Go ahead and eat that. Get rid of the coal. Hope the zombies are inside. I saw one moving there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Scrap that. Come here, sir. Come here, lady. Crawler here. Dead. There's your next. Got him. Do that wall there. Crap! The spider was there all along. Crap, the stamina. Okay, that should take care of that. I think I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and drink this uh, this red tea. Okay. I don't want to look there yet. Toilet, toilet, toilet. Here we go. I always use paper. Where'd you guys come from? Oh, there's a door back there, too. I'm the head smasher. You're me. Alright. Is that dealt with? I'm gonna take a drink real quick. Because it has been some pretty intense fighting up until now, so I've been avoiding that. Lead here. Doesn't look like there's anything in this storage area in the back, unfortunately. Seems we kind of got screwed over, huh? I guess I got some gas here, though. I'll take that. There's some stuff up there, but I don't think. Maybe we can get through there. Let's we'll, we'll check this area quick. Oh, we have some sort of trailer here. Okay, we got some food there. There. Yeah, chicken just jumped that fence. Chicken got some hops, man. What can I say? 
This looks very suspicious, don't it? But I'm clearly not going to be breaking through that anytime soon. You good, homie? I'm not going to throw the hit from there. Alright, he's dead. Surprise, surprise. What's this? Was there another door that I didn't see on the other side? I guess I totally just did not see that door. Roof access. Crawl space here doesn't look like it. I guess would be that there would be a uh, bird of some sort up here. What did I just drop? Electrical parts? Can I get rid of something for the electrical parts, like the duct tape, for example, that leather. I see some other stuff around here, so check it out. Turn my little flashlight off. I saw something over there. At least a toolbox was over there. Shit! Just hit the bird with a wrench. My god. Okay, we got some bird nest search. They just have feathers, I don't care. Looking for eggs. It'd be cool if you got the graze birds or something like that, right? Shit! Not at all what I wanted to see there. Holy crap. It's a good thing I decided to look at that before I uh, opened this up. If I would have tried to open that up and the cop came out first, I might have been in a bit of a pickle. Okay, let's go ahead and repair our tools real quick. Because those are getting a little... I see for my taste. I wouldn't use this. We got a lot of canned food on us, which is good, but also kind of bad for our inventory space. It would be pretty great if we could get rid of it. A lot of bird's nests up here. Get rid of the feather and take that. Oh. What's this backpack got for us? Aloe, huh? I'm gonna do that right now. Weapon bag. We have a double barrel shotgun. Not bad. Um, give the cobblestone and take from that. Is that everything that's here? Looks like it. Nothing else that would give me any loot, so let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's skedaddle. <clears throat> this actually regenerates the stamina first, because that guy is standing right outside. I should actually test the double barrel. Not an instant kill, but three hits, okay. Let's try it on normal zombie. Two shots, okay.
Yeah. Burn both at the same time, which is nice. It is really loud, though. You can see the zombies coming from over there to try and get me. Okay, anyway. Open this up and store everything that I have a stack of. And let's go. Gas station right there. I'm gonna try to go down that road right now. A fire station, a salon, another motel. Or farmland over there. Let's go ahead and cut this with them. We have a O'Reilly Auto. Oof. So we got a another sh no, this is an electrical store. Okay. Another passing gas. What is this? An office building of some sort, it looks like. Thought I saw some like gun racks there, but I guess not. Er, ice cream, huh? What is that building. It looks like some sort of large storage area, so I'm curious. A gunsmith. Oh boy. And a shotgun messiah right there. Okay. Oh! He tried. He was going for it. I just want to explore the town a bit more since it is daylight now. Um, we have a grain silo, it looks like. Got another vet clinic out here. If we can at least get like the uh, idea of what the town has. We can then start searching all the buildings to find out where their prime loot stations are at. Gotta go from there. Once we lost the bird, good. Back at the Fates Hotel. Not stop there. Went and cut over here. See what that sign says. Looks like a cracker book. Yep. It's a different cracker book than the one we saw earlier. So there's two cracker books here. Got that electrical place. We have a buy and go. This is, uh, working stuff tools. Wait, is this what we saw before? Not the... I think it was. Okay, maybe we saw that first. Go out of your dog. Coyote, whatever the hell you want. This is where we originally came from. Nope, no it's not. Came from further up north. Ah. Well, are there two dogs here? Out of shotgun shells! Ow! Don't hit my bike, man. I kill your mate? Huh? You little shit. What I thought. Oh, shotgun's out of ammo now. So. Actually, that's just because I put the ammunition in here. Question. Did I do that? I did do that. Okay. That's fair. You're next. Come on, sir. Alright, let's take care of this other coyote. I'm assuming it's a coyote. I don't know what actual species they are. They're not a normal wolf, that's for sure. This one doesn't have tiles on the top, so that's good. We're not going to see anyone fall down on us. I have to restore my inventory. Alright, construction boy. Let's go. You're next. Pop in the head. Power attack. 
Pop him. He's dead. Nurse. Here's the power for him. Guys down. Now. Just roll that. Ah. And I'm infected. Lovely. Well, I think I have some honey, so that shouldn't be too bad of a problem. But a sprained leg is not great. Let's go back out to the bike. Where did I leave the motorcycle at? Over here, huh? Really? All the way over here. Like the sprained leg. Forgot. Open. Uh, honey. Use. There. What do I have to do for a sprained leg? Nothing. Okay. Just if I get more damage, it could go into a broken leg. I don't know how they hurt my leg when they were, like, attacking my torso, but... How dare they? Go ahead and eat some more of the canned food. Get it out of my way. Drink this coffee as well. Okay. Get rid of the bones. Get rid of the animal fat. Um. Yep. Oops, don't run. I forgot. But let's actually get on the bike. Move it a little bit closer. I just don't want to loop this place. But, uh... Yeah. Toilet. Toilet. Plop. Where are all these zombies coming from, huh? Because we're getting experience, that's something, right? I'm gonna go ahead and use another bandage. Oh, I should not have done that because my maximum of health is not that high right now because of the uh, injured leg. Well, that's unfortunate, but whatever. More zombies, huh? Why can't they ever just do one zombie and then they screw up? Huh? Oh, whatever. Oh. Free repair kits, huh? Okay, they dig out. Go ahead and take you out. A solid hit there. Gotta wait for my stamina regen now. Oh crap, he's mad. As long as we don't run, should be fine for a little bit. We just gotta wait five minutes and we'll have the ability to continue running around and stuff. So, great. Ooh, a shopping basket actually has stuff in it. Nice. Okay. Drop. Ooh, we got a Mega Crush. That could help us if we need to run away in a quick second there. I don't think I searched that shot. I don't if you're going to keep beating through that, I'm going to go ahead and loot this quick. Let me help. Here you go. Come on. All right. So let's go to this side of the building. Check out this toilet. And gun. Go ahead and scrap that. Yep, she's down. Hey, lady. Why are there so many people in this working steps? Okay, I'm not gonna destroy those golden rods and stuff because I don't have. Any of the stuff to spare here. Get shopping container here that has stuff in it, it looks like. 
the copy, okay. Honestly, I just want an auger. Or a chain scott something. Chainsaw schematic. Oh man, there's something up there, but I can't get it right now. I can't jump. Grab that. Uh that. Grab that. Like that. Man, if I didn't have all these seeds in my inventory, I'd be like making bank right now. Not really. But you know how it goes. Let's see. Do I have another canned food right now? I have these, but that's what I really want to get rid of. Take that with me. So let's go ahead and just eat these lamb rations, which will make me a little thirsty. We'll go ahead and also drink this golden rod tea that we found. Break through this door. You tell me I don't have room for this lead. Shit. Okay. I think I shot a little extra that I didn't mean to shoot there, but fuck. What the fuck? We gotta sprint, we gotta go. Big guy down, big guy down. Reload. All right. Well, we hurt our foot a little bit more there. Is that another cop? What the fuck? Dude, are there any other cops in this town that want to come after me? What the hell, bro? That's what I was saying. Let's search this. Dude, where are these zombies coming from? the duct tape. Take those. I think I can put the extended mag on anything else right now. That's a thing. Um, here are the cotton seeds, to be honest. Okay. We only have a minute left of this brained ankle. And after that, we can run around. Have a fun time once more. That, which we have to go to the roof to get into. Okay, let's just wait out here until my ankle finishes being stupid. Then we can go into here, search that. Ugh. This is rough. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's gone. Let's go. Getting a lot of seed stuff now for some reason. Okay, you know what? Poppy seed, get out of my inventory. Um, aloe vera seed, get out of my inventory. Sand, you get out too. Nothing else that I can just ditch right now. These uh, empty bottles. Mm, hold on, everything else for now. Let's go. 
let's finish looking around here. So we did have that one thing that was up here, which was a purse, which had some cash in it. We'll just toss that out. I don't want it. All right. And we have this manager's office, which has paper and a motor schematic and a motorcycle chassis schematic, which we will just scrap. Oh, there's no safe back here, so that's great news for us. Go ahead and get out through the back here. And of course, we just have to have more zombies up on top of this roof. With all the zombies I killed down there weren't enough. Legit? There's three of y'all up here? Okay. Take that egg. I'm not even going to bother with the radiators and stuff right now. I just need to get what I'm getting and go in there. Careful, careful. Down here and jump down here. A lot of working crates in this one, so that's great. I think the previous one that we had that looked exactly like this one didn't actually have these, so good. Bust these open. make with blood bags just a first aid kit get that out here are they attacking the door getting a lot of parts but i don't know any schematics for the augers and stuff yet more damage to wolves use it Motor tool small tank mod. Where's the gunpowder? I have enough. Mon auger parts. Nope. Okay. Nope. Can't say I didn't try. There, how did you get back here? This area is tapped out. All right, we pretty much can't loot anything else. So let's go ahead and back towards home. We're basically full. What a huge town, though. Look at that. And there's, there's also this town over here as well. So many towns. Ah, all right. I think we'll try to drop off our stuff. And then we will try to go to that quest. Finish it and turn it in. Get a new quest, and then kind of go from there. Yeah. It is getting to be Horde Night. Um, tomorrow's going to be Horde Night, 28th. So what we might do is I might look up how to use the electric fence quick. And then after I do that, we will fortify the base. And get it ready. Like with the AK, and if we have enough ammo for the AK, it should be pretty good in terms of zombie killing potential. Especially if they do what I want them to. Ooh, there's a gunsmith and a shooting range right there. God dang. We want that. Good. This, uh, 
the motorcycle is a bit of a gas hog. I mean, that's to be expected. It is very quick. Like, we can get around immediately. So that's real good. Maybe I should start marking places. Like, this is a shotgun messiah, these are working stiffs. That way I know where they're at, and I don't have to spend a lot of time searching. We might do that next time we go exploring, before we have a horde night, you know? But for right now, I just want to maximize our ability to... get prepared for horde night. Any experience we can get over there, doing that quest, will help. Because we can get more levels, get more efficient at stuff. It wouldn't hurt to get, like, some points into rifles and stuff, so I'm better at dealing damage with the AK and stuff. Yeah. Alright, we're home. Go ahead and park right outside here. Take everything I can. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this real quick and refuel. Throw that back in there and let's go ahead and take that. Okay. Open it up! Alright, close all that. Uh, store everything. Store everything. Store everything. Store everything. Store everything. Store everything. Alright. I've stored pretty much everything I can automatically store. Uh, so let's look at stuff that we can't automatically store. So we have a weapon extension mod, which you can probably put on the AK, to be honest. Yeah, whatever this is, I don't, I don't even know right now. Um, we have a small tank, which, I mean, compared to the, having the large ones, we might just get rid of. Looking at it, there, we got this bow stuff. Hey, bud, welcome to my house. You're gonna die. If you're aware. Yo. Alright, um. Food, I'll put this in there. Put that in there. I can probably sell this. Grandpa's awesome. Awesome. Uh, for the weapons, let's go ahead and put that and that in there. Excellent. Excellent. Um, ma 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 Go up to the garden real quick. Oh look, everything's properly grown and everything. That's cool. But I'm gonna go ahead and plant this chrysanthemum. And plant this corn. These hops. Just kind of plant everything we can here. Those are blueberries. I can't use the blueberries yet. I don't have the proper stuff for it, but I'll just throw them there for now. I can make them into seeds later. Um, and then what do I need here? I need some wood. I will just not even bother with the wood right now. I've got to come over here and get their stuff. Take everything. I'm just going to throw the gas back. Store. All right. Store everything. Store everything. Everything. For everything, for everything, and this battery can go in here as well. Go ahead and throw this stuff up there. All right, now let's take the wood. What went here? What went here? Um, pistol ammo. That's what it was. Pistol ammunition. There we go. All right, excellent. Uh, okay. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Alright, let's head. We need to clear the area, which is basically just to kill all the zombies, so... We'll go up here to this house. Initiate it. And we have... It's uh, four, five, six hours to do so, so... We should not have an issue. Clearing this out at all. In fact, it might just take us two hours to clear it, because I'm going to go and try to do it as quickly as possible, just so we can maximize our time to do stuff. Borp! Borp! 
lower. A little bit. They have a lot of meat on them, so that's why I wanted it. You wanna frickin' go? Come on. Hate vultures, man. So annoying. Try to swoop in on my prey. Alright. Wrap ourselves quick. Continue moving on. I'm not even gonna deal with the bird because it does not have anything to Keep going around this side. All right, making good progress. Get this house in no time. Is it this red house? No, it's not. No. Now the bike just feels so much better than the mini bike to drive. Like it's not even a like contest. All right, start it. I'm assuming we're going in up here. Come on. Son of a bird. And now I'm infected as well. Great. Great, 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 great. That was exactly what I wanted to have happen. You know what? Thank you. Thank you for infecting me, you shitty freaking vultures. I don't even know why the vultures are infected. It just does not make sense. Close this door. Can't close that door. How about you just die, sir? Oh, you're a feral, that's why you won't die. Do this. This is a medical bed. Okay. Nothing. Alright. Of course, this medical cabinet didn't have any supplies for me to actually heal my stuff with. Hopefully, this house has honey or something. Hopping pills crate, I'll take that. Come on. Not gonna help with my injury, but take it. For right now anyway. Let's continue. Real quick clear. Let's go. Yep. the house right now if I wanted to in order to get the antibiotics because I have to stay here for the quest so that's great find a lot of vitamins which would have been helpful before I got infected I don't know why I was not getting hurt by those uh, traps there, but whatever. What's with the uh, floor here, huh? This door is unlocked. So let's take a look at this one first. It wants me to go up there, huh? Okay. What if I don't want to do that yet, though? Next, I was going to stumble and fall. Yep. 
Yep. Weird. All right, up to the uh, hidey hole here. I'll look. Yeah. Anyone alive still? <laughs> Damn. Okay. That was all of them. I was not expecting them to have just landmines for days up here, but okay. Let me just go ahead and skirt by them. Luckily, the landmines don't actually break anything that's not. Ah, crap, I need to do that. Grab some stuff. Yep. Anything else back here? We have a safe. Okay. Take that boy. We have like 19 lockpicks, so whatever. Oh my god. Come on. Come to Papa. There we go. Okay. Let's scrap everything else we don't need. Wait, hold on. How much does that sell for? I'll take that. Sham sandwiches. I'm not sure how to make those, so I'll just learn that quick. Um, Alright, I think we're done. Let's get out of here. Sure, I'm the back. There we go. Alright, down, down, down. Go ahead and pop this door that we had opened here and just jump over the hose. And my bike was over this way. Almost went all the way around the house. <laughs> Yeah, it was barely two hours. We, I think we got here at what, 16, 1700? Nice, love to see it. All right, let's go ahead and go talk to the trader, turn the quest, get a new quest. And then we will also uh, sell him some of the stuff we got here. Not that we got anything too good or anything, but we have that crossbow we can sell him to get a little extra caps there, so nice. Or did I leave anything in this chest? I did not, okay. Sometimes I do, I just wanted to check. Is there anything in it yet? Nope. I think it was that chemistry stench, a bench. Uh, get stuff back into it. We'll have a uh, vehicle off-road headlamp. Insulated liner mod. Well, I don't really care about that, so go ahead and give me this one. And then the Pull off road headlamp mod. I don't know how to make it. We'll sell it to him. But you got any more jobs for us? Um, you got a fetch quest to the northeast. Plus all north. We have a clear zombies to the east. We'll go ahead and take that. I guess this kind of makes us friends. Um, all right. Go ahead and sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that. Sell that bandage. Why not? Uh, this tier one robotic turret. I almost want to sell it, but I almost almost don't as well. Let's go ahead and sell those. Sell that. Is this a silencer mod? Eh, I might as well. Reduces maximum range and damage. Never mind then. That. I want some aloe cream too, why don't you? I want some magnum bullets. Yeah, but not much. Okay. Um, what do you got for me here? Night Stalker Volume 3. Blade of Weapons more damage doesn't matter. Do you happen to have any honey on you or something, sir? Be great if you did. All right, well, we're done here, sir. Now, I could go and do this next clear as well. Um, I'm kind of considering it right now. If I want to do that, or if I want to go back home and get the 
uh, antibiotics. But I think we'll go ahead and do this one too, because it's just down the street here. And we'll probably knock this one out as well. That was... it looks like it's the motel. Do it. We'll knock it out before night. Anyone here? Nope. Anyone here? Nope. You're here, though. So is she. A bit of mother-daughter bonding here, was it? Locked, that door's unlocked. Well, if it's something I can actually use, I'm not gonna actually loot stuff. So I'm just gonna kinda go through here as quick as possible. Cash register usually has some good stuff in it, you know. Let me search that door. This door's unlocked. Probably a zombie right there, yep. Okay, he's down. Medical cabinet. Come on, antibiotics. Okay. This. Back here, okay. On the next one. Come on, let me through. I believe there was a rattlesnake in there. Damn. Looks like on top we have some more guys. Two ladies, come on. Get her. Get her out. Get her off. And we're done. Damn, that was real quick. Quick and easy. Love to see it. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop down here. Oh, this pile of luggage. Coat, don't care. Alright. Real quick, real easy. Knock that one out. Easy peasy. Hell yeah. Oop. Right, let's go. Turn this quest in, get another one, and then go back home for the night. And until Horde Night is done, possibly. We'll see. I'm coming, sir. We'll be closing here in less than an hour, so we gotta go real quick. Each day. Yo, it's completed. Uh, Ranger Guard's Armory. Learn how to craft steel arrows and bolts. Know that already. Give me this ammo. What do you got for jobs? Uh. Northeast, northeast, northeast. Um, let's do this. Clear zombies to the north. Then, uh, a little, no matter what. I'm Give me some stuff, sir. Everything you've done. Go ahead and take that and that. Take that. Take all this money. Very good. Give me all this seven six two. You got. Take it. All right. That's all I want to sell you. Thank you, sir. And safe travels, friend. Get back home. Alright, we have two quests today, not bad. So we'll go home for the night. And we'll start our upgrades to do our, our base. Oh yeah. Rock and roll. All right, all right, all right. So, we do have all these uh, wood spikes that we can use to line the perimeter around the outer edges of our base. We also have traps that we can use to possibly get the uh, interior uh, 
or next to the door lit up with resources, right? This is what we want to do. For now, I'm just going to leave my bike here. Uh, does it have anything in it? I'm just going to take this and refuel it here quick. Just so that's done. All right, let's go ahead and leave that open. Go into this one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn these back on so they are functioning and giving me stuff. Let's take this back. Turn this one on. I'll take that glue. All right. Let's go ahead and, like always, just store everything we have. Okay. Now we have that. And I think I can actually use these two. Put the sand here, put the turret here. Um, coffee beans can go here. All right, so I think boots modify those on. And then I can modify this jacket. No, I cannot. Is it this stuff I can modify still? It is. Okay. I think if I actually plus one, I can do a plus three here instead. Hey. Okay. All right, antibiotics. Uh, medical. Nothing. Um, should have some honey though. So use it. Oh, I almost forgot about that. That would have been not great. All right. Um, so back to this. I think I can get another thing on here. I cannot. What else can hold a modifier? Can anything hold a modifier for that matter? I think this can? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Tank capacity has been increased by three in total. That's good to see. All right, materials. Let's go ahead and take out everything that we can here. Use. And then I'm going to hit escape real quick. Seven days to die. Electric fence. Let's see how we actually do this. Real quick. I'm not going to show it on the screen here for you guys. I'm just going to kind of read it. Um, talk to the players as well as players that place the traps, regardless of them being within the land claim block. Um, zombies who touch the wire between two connected posts. The wires can go through any block, the maximum distance between two posts, not counting blocks, and on. Um, is there a picture of it working anywhere? You know, I didn't have the engine turned on. I wonder if maybe that would be why it didn't work. Am I dumb? Am I just dumb? Hold on. Okay. Um, electric fence post. Wire up two of these and shock your enemies. Okay, so I need seven and three. So let's go ahead and grab this and this. Electric fence post. Let's try it again. Not. And for the tools, let's grab our hammer. Grab our wiring tools. Um, let's grab these fence bars just in case I need them. Uh, it might not be bad to grab these two jackhammer turret things. No? Then also we got this other concrete here that we uh, apparently stashed away. Raisin. Okay. Two needs gunpowder, bullet tips, and bullet casings. Let's grab that, 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 and that. And as we know, the workbench 7.62 ammunition. Make it 100. There we go. All right. Perfect. That's all the bullet casings we had, or bullet tips we had. So, the, um, where did I put the battery bank? There it is. Also, grab the relays. Grab some lights too while we're at it, huh? All right. Okay, okay, okay. Also grab a switch. Electric timer relay. I don't think I need these, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually put those into that. All right, and what we'll do, I think it would be really cool to have is, if I put, An electric relay here 
and then well, let me see here. I put a light bulb here. Can I wire from here over to here? Can. All right, but first, instead of doing just that, let's put a switch here. And then I can go ahead and do switch from here, here, and from here to... How do I get rid of one? I want to get rid of this one. Let me get rid of it. Hmm. Also, the uh, which one appeared? But why? What? I want to detach. Weird, whatever. Um, I need to eat something though, so let's go ahead and eat our camp food first. We don't really have a reason to not. That's producing stuff still. This one is done. this doing okay electrical fences here all right so let's go ahead and place down first of all our battery bank i think right here would do right 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 there right and i can go ahead and connect the generator battery bank and i'll just need to get some batteries some electrical engineering this time. They didn't say the higher the quality, the better the uh, thing, right? So, hmm. nice. I don't thought of All right. So this should charge up when I turn this battery or when I turn this generator on, right? So I'll turn this on. You can see. Excuse me, I'm doing something here. All right, I'll turn on. Don't. Shouldn't they be charging? I don't know why it's like sending power without power going through it, right? Maybe because the battery's not connected to anything. Would that be why it's not? So if I do that, Oop. if I turn this on now. Switch is not connected to anything, okay. There we go, we got light, boys! Excellent. Okay. If I go up here, is it or anything? I guess I'm not sure how the battery bank works. Hold on. How do I use the battery bank? Let's let's look it up real quick. Battery bank is a tool as part of electricity. Um, battery bank allows you to power your electrical components. It requires at least one battery, expendable up to six. The maximum energy output is determined by the number of batteries installed and their quality. An external powered 
An externally powered and turned on battery bank will recharge its batteries. If there are no batteries installed, it acts as a relay, pushing power down the line. Oh, so... Will the batteries just recharge then? Is that what happens? Recharge them in a powered battery bank. So I guess it'll output power. Because, I mean, the light's on, right? The generator's off, but the light's on. No. I'm confused. Okay. I don't know. It works. But... I guess the quality of the battery is what shows up there. Yeah, weren't some of these like lower? If I turn this on and do this, I wonder if that five will change. We'll see. Oh, okay, but I didn't even see you get in. That's dangerous up here, huh? Right now, it's right before the five. I wonder if it'll do anything here. Next, let's get the... These are the electrical motor switches. These are the electric fences. Okay, so we will put one here. I don't think it matters which way they turn, so we'll just do that. And then I will do that. Then let's, let's get on this side quick. That. Then, yep. Okay, that works. Oh boy, that works. Ah, okay. I had it right. I just did not have power going to them at the time, so that's why it did not work. Excellent. Um, that works. That works. That works. Well, then maybe I put a switch somewhere for that. Huh? That might work. Um, I put a switch here. Button. And I do this and then that. Let's see. Seven days to die. How to remove a wire? Pick up items, including wires. I don't think you can pick them up anymore unless they're inside your claim block zone. The workshops are outside. Oh, that's a. Uh, oh. Use a wrench on them or hold down E. They. Workbench. Um. Right-click on the wire tool again. Oh, okay. If I do this... Nope. That works, though. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, now I can just go ahead and... Uh... Flip that on when I'm ready, because now it shouldn't have a current through it, right? Yeah. But when I want to, I can turn it on, and before I leave the house, I should be able to just hit it from here to turn it back on and off. Uh, and then I can turn it on and off from up there as well. So that'll be great. Okay. Well, that'll be those there. That'll work just, just excellently. Do these require power? Um... It doesn't say it does, but it doesn't mean that it necessarily does not require power, right? So let's go ahead and put... Do I just right-click here? Okay, before we do that, and then not be able to place walls behind it, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Okay, and then also... I might just dig up. Hold on. So we're not wasting energy. Let's um, look at this first. Okay, that didn't do anything, so let's turn this off. I don't want to waste fuel while we're not using it, you know. Grab a shovel. And look at our stuff here quick. That's still melting down. That's not in process. That's not in progress. That's still going. This is done, so turn that off. I'll take this blue and I'll just store it away real quick. There we go. Pour this metal in here so it's melting down too. All right. So, let's go ahead and do this. 
I'm not sure now if I put down the... No? If I put down the... Uh... Yeah, if I, if I mine that up, I'm not sure if it's going to take down the electrical post, so I don't want to do it quite yet. But anyway, this will be the plan here. That's so I can just... I come out of the way, right? Okay. Now then... This will give a, a nice, smooth, and flat surface for us to uh, build on and do stuff in here with, right? Let's also eat a little bit since we are a little hungry. I'm gonna save that. We'll eat three of them because I think we're at 50, so three would do 30 health. Okay. So the plan is the Zombros are gonna come down here, right? They're gonna kind of walk through here. And then I will place down these turrets um, here. And it looks like they're already working. And then I'll place another one right here. That way they are ready to just destroy some stuff, right? Go ahead and dig up another row here. So these should, in theory, punch the zombies as they come through. And then the electrical fence will zap them a little bit. And actually, hold on. What I might want to do instead, just so the zombies don't get, like, stuck um, in front of the electric fence, put some concrete here. That way they're forced to go through here, right? Um, and now I can place these down once more. After I... Reverse around here quick. That and that, just so I make sure those can be placed down. Put them as close to here as possible. Those will be kind of our, our, our beginning of our kill hallway, you know? These two will be right here, ready and waiting to just murderate the enemy. Of course, gotta make sure we cover this side here so that they can't just jump up and get in our way. Um, so they'll come in here, mess those guys up. Go ahead and do one more layer this way. Boop, boop. And then. Boop, boop. And I get that one, so. I'll also place a wall here. The zombies kind of have a, a way to just roll straight through here, right? They're gonna come in here, kind of get hit by this thing a little bit, come through here, get hit the electrical fence, be damaged. That way, when they get here, I can start shooting them and lighting them up, right? All right, next. Close the door for a second. I have a robotic turret which I might also use here. Do I have one of those... I thought I had a spike trap somewhere. Did I not? Not a spike trap, a uh, blade trap, was it? Yeah. So used to chop zombies up into many pieces, just add zombies and stir. Let's go ahead and make one of these. 20, 15, 15... 12, 12, and oil. I don't think I have enough oil, to be honest. I might have enough oil. Get it? Also, why do I have this timed relay here? No, I want to sell those. They're actually kind of expensive, I think. What did I do with the last set? Oh, did I just throw them in this box by accident? I probably did. That sounds like something I would do. Blade trap. I have everything I need there, so let's go ahead and... One of those. 162 ammunition is going back into production after that. Store the rest of the uh, materials here. Oh, yeah, those. No. Nope. 
Takes three minutes to make the blade trap. Okay, that, that's fine. All right. No, I might actually go up here and turn the battery bank on. And so it says it's using some power. It doesn't really specify how much. I think it said seven. I'm not sure that's how much it's using or how much is like available. No. But it is day now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this off because we don't need the light right now. If we do that. Battery bank should not be using any power, right? I say that, but it looks like it's using two now. Is that right? Well, anyway, um, I'm not sure how big the blade trap is, so I don't want to expand any further with the uh, concrete quite yet. What we'll do is we'll just go ahead and build up this wall. Okay. And then let's go ahead and I'm going to move my motorcycle. And we're just going to move it right over here. But it's uh, it's fairly far away from the base. Zombies won't necessarily hit it or anything like that. And what we're also going to do is we're going to line this wall here with another double row of concrete. And this will prevent the zombies from just mining through the side of here. And they'll have to actually go through here, right? At least that's the idea, but we'll have to actually test this out practically first. And who knows, maybe they're going to recognize that the bottom of the base is only like one wood uh, deep, and they're going to decide to mine through all the dirt and earth in order to get to the, uh, the side and underneath of it. And then they're going to just eat me there. Anyway, let's go ahead and start surrounding the base with bikes that we made. Placement, damn it. Um, let's get the hammer and just pop that. Maybe the wrong placement. Okay. Yeah, today we're just going to work on modifying the base to make it strong. Uh, That'll be the kind of idea here. All right. Fortify this side right here a little bit better. This, okay. That has all of that, so let's do here. I hate, I hate the grass. Oh my god. It's so annoying. Okay, you know what? This ain't gonna work for me. Kill the grass first. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep messing up placement and it's gonna... One of these times, I'm gonna place one wrong. And it's gonna mess me up. I'm not gonna like it. Even this like small grass, it's not even like fully grown. I hate it. Hate it all. Angry man punches grass. Morning's at eleven. I wish there was like a lawnmower. That'd be just excellent. If you come through here, it removes all the grass. I'd be careful because there are dogs here in this area too, so that's not great either. I can just get my ankles nommed on by a zombie dog before the night ends here. I missed some back there. You can see the little Itty bitty ones. You know, the, the small ones are harder to hit, because I think that I have to hit, like, 
the bottom, but the hitbox is actually as big as the normal grass is. You can see me hitting the little ones while I'm uh, aiming up above them, so it's weird. The hitbox is not the ground, it's like the side or something. Like, something weird, I don't know. All right, almost done with this side here. I think two minutes has passed, so we can definitely check out our blade trap here. Uh, take this ammunition and store it here. All right, how big of an area do we need for this? It looks like it is a three by three area, so I'll have to start digging here. One more. Okay. That, that down here. I should be able to just place it right on top of this. it here and heck yeah do we need to wire it this is the question it does take power all right so i think what i can do is i can get a power relay and i have to go to the top just to have a better sight here all right so let's go over to here Put a power relay right there, and I can go from this that, right? I didn't interrupt that. I can go here, do there. Perfect. Can't interact with the turrets, that's fine. Let's get a turret here, and I think if I place So I'm thinking here, what do I want to do? with this turret, right? I place one here, and then I get the turret, and I place it, like, here. It should have a sight. Well, that's not where I wanted to go. If it can shoot down, that would be an ideal spot for it, right? Because it can shoot them in the backs. Oh my god, I'm trying to Get you here. What do I what do I do here? I need to reload it. I need a uh, need. Can I even do this? Robotic turret ammo. I just need iron. Is that all I need? Okay. I don't have any on me right now though, so. Can I go down, please? Thank you. Okay. Cereals, iron. Robotic turret ammo. Um, I don't know how much it can hold. Let's just make 300 rounds for right now. And that'll take a little bit of time, but that'll be fine for me. I can start reloading it. Okay. So I, I think all I have to do is put it down and then it'll work, right? So let's, setting aside that for now. Damn it. Well, that's just how it goes. Sometimes you place down a concrete block and it does not go where you want it to go. You have to suffer. I might just do this. This might be my beginning. I'm not going to make like a narrower entryway or anything there. I think that'll just be how it goes. I'm just going to put another thing here so I can... How much does it cost to repair this? Or what does it cost to repair this, I guess? Question. Repair kit. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and repair it for now. And I'll know when my ammo is done because I'll have that there.
go. Okay, excellent. So, hopefully this does not cause many problems. I really do not like having that there. That's not ideal to be there. But we're going to have to leave it because there's nothing else I can do right now. Let's just make another row of this stuff. While we're waiting for the, the robotic turret to finish. Oop, almost ran into the spikes because I'm an idiot. Do that, and then we'll do another one like right here, just so we have that mapped out. I don't have to worry about rotating stuff for the right angles on the sides there. I'm not sure if it matters. I just like the way it looks. There, and one. There, okay. I think we should at least have enough spikes to go three times around here, right? Go. Okay, looks like our robotic turret is done getting repaired. Now we can reload it, see that it has 62 ammunition in it. Okay. Not a great amount, but it's it's enough for us right now. So let's just remove it from our inventory for now. And then I think we want to go here with the next rower. Place it there. Come on. Don't mess around, spikes. I think after we finish building or getting the fortifications ready, right, what I might want to do is there? Okay. I think we'll make a garage for our motorcycle. And then we can actually like hide it in there so it's not going to get like just destroyed by being outside. And also because it would help us get a little bit more experience to, uh, you know, level up again. Might as well but put, put a little extra here, right? Go. I'm going to remove this tree because I don't like the look of it. Okay. Killing me here. Bikes cooperate, okay. Alright. So let's do just one more here, I guess. Alright, so this is our base. It looks pretty pretty swaggy, don't you think so? I think it's cool. I think it looks great. It's amazing. A bike at over there, okay. Bird nest. Ooh, we got an egg. Nice. Lucky us, huh? Okay. This is all peachy keen and uh, great and everything. So I think we should be good. I do want to do one more thing though, I think. That is, let's go back inside here. That's still cooking. This is all still cooking, great. I say cooking, but it's ammunition. Really? But. Okay. I can make a garage door. Nice. A rolling garage door as well, huh? Hmm. 
I want to make a powered garage door, but I don't know the schematics for it yet. Unfortunate, but that's fine. Um, so let's make a normal garage door. So forged iron, spring, and mechanical parts. Forged iron, springs, and mechanical parts. Got we need more forged iron, so let's go ahead and make some of that. Let's make 60 to have some. And then I'm going to throw my extra ammunition up here. Put a feather in there, and I can throw my egg in there. I don't think I'll need a switch anymore, so let's go ahead and throw the switch in there. Relay and the light bulb. Wire cutters are basically done with now. All right, so while the other stuff I'm making is there and made, uh, what I'll do is, first of all, we're going to be asked to rotating. I'll go ahead and place this stuff here. That way I can prevent zombies from getting up here as easily, you know? Come on, place, place it down, place it down, place it down. There we go. So I'm not sure if, if maybe they could stand on top of the middle of the spike and then just jump up here somehow. Um, also, this one kind of sucks that they're that's there. So let me just put a, a little thing there. Just in case. Just to make sure that nothing bad's going to happen. still shoot through all this so it works out perfectly for me. I'm not going to do anything with this area though. Um, I'll leave it how it is now just so we don't run into any issues, right? Because um, if I put bars over this area, I'm not going to be able to turn that switch on and off from down below, which means that uh, I might have to come up here every time in order to turn it to that. So we're not going to. All right, but this looks pretty good. Um, there's no way for the zombies to get up to this level, even if they're standing on top of the spikes because it's two blocks higher than everything else. We're looking really good, and I am satisfied with this, except for the fact that now that I've done this, I don't think the... Will, will the turret be able to fire through? My only... I'll place it here, and we'll just see how it functions tonight. It might work, it might not. I'm not sure if it'll have the, the angle. I'm not sure if it can go downwards is what I'm thinking. No. no. Who's to say? But let's also harvest our seeds and stuff. It's a shame that we don't get a seed from every single one. That's not ideal. Um, have one seed. We also had a yucca seed here. All right, so oh, the aloe seeds. Let's go ahead and make as many as we can. Goldenrod seed, as many as we can. Okay. Now at least we have some stuff growing here, which is great. Hey, thanks for the follow, Hexed Zombie. All right. So, that looks good. Let's throw our stuff in here again. Uh, throwing stuff out again. Right there, right? Yeah, okay. How is the Forged Iron looking? Hey, Greg. Hey, thanks for the sub, or the, the prime, I suppose you could say. Hexed Zombie? I see it. All right, I think we have enough iron to make the, what was I making again? Doors, right, door, the, uh, the garage door, three by two, wanted. Garage door, three by two, wanted to make two of them. 
clear out the center six two, and then we're gonna make it just so we can get the, the garage doors finished up faster. How's my uh, play here looking? Fully but surely we're getting a lot of it. All right. Toss this stuff back here. Put the seven six two back in the chest. Go ahead and repair my um, shovel. Be great. All right. Now, let's turn this back into normal blocks. How much wood do I have on me, actually? Quite a bit. All right, excellent. So let's go ahead, and while we're waiting for these garage doors to finish building, go ahead and build up our garage for our... our let's pick up there. Actually, real quick, I want to grab fire axe. Fire axe. Okay. And I might as well also grab seeds have here. I think I'll actually dispose of the oak seeds because I don't like the look of those. But let's chop down this tree quick. Alright. Now let's just punch up these here. I think if I build a garage like right here, the zombies won't worry about it. And I can just kind of pull the, the vehicle in here. What is that? Is that a duffel bag? Or no, that's what I threw it down. God, I'm, I'm dumb. All right. So yeah, right around here, I think should be good. So go ahead and start digging with our shovel to get a nice foundation going. And we'll just do this to uh, increase our health for now. So doesn't be the fanciest garage. I just want a place that I can park the, uh, the motorcycle and have it be relatively safe from the horde knights and stuff, you know. And do this. All right, let's get that moved in the back over here. All right, so this will be the floor. If it's a three by two door, I think that means it's three wide and two too tall, right? So let's go ahead and put the walls here. That one. Messing up the placement. All right. And then we'll do something like this and that. And then I can get a chest. I can put the storage chest in here. And I can use it for gasoline and stuff like that uh, to kind of have it there. And you know what? I think I want to go one more because the bike is pretty long. And actually, now that I think about it, I might want to make it a little bit wider, just so we have extra space for inevitably when we do get like a 4x4 four four truck, we can do that. Doesn't have to be too small, right? Alright. Basically, the 3x2 will be here and there. Yeah. That'll be the garage dimensions. And actually, I think I just, I'm, I'm dumb. I need it to be longer, not wider. Come on. All right, so we'll do that, and then I need to go this way. It doesn't matter how wide the interior is, the truck can't even fit through the door anyway, so that's fine. Not hungry, so that's great. All right, this should be big enough. I'm thinking, I don't know how big the actual truck is, so. It, it might not be big enough. We'll have to just wait and see. Put that down there, okay. So we'll do that there. Go ahead and fix this up a little bit. Where did the airdrop go to? It is... I see it still in the air. Up that way, is it? Oh, it's in the middle of the city. Okay, we can get that anytime then. That, that's fine. I think we might get that before we come here, or before the night falls, but if it's in the city, we'll, we'll just wait. 
that we'd get anything too decent from it, anyways. Ah. Right, that was, uh... Take my part. The door needs to be sitting on wood. There we go. That. Alright. Well, let's not forget to do this side here. Excellent. And now let's this wood. Doesn't have to be fancy. Just needs to hold the vehicle safely. And even if zombies do attack it, at least it'll give it a little bit of, you know, defenses, you know? I think we should actually level up from building this too, which would be very great. I think we'll have a number of skill points after this. I think we'll have four or five, right? All right, so here is the basic outline of it. Let's go ahead and build a little taller. Oop. You know, I actually might make windows, to be honest. Let's make it nice. Easy way to see in and out. Okay. We got the door there, and then I'm I think I'll put one more there to make it look bit better, right? Also, the bear should pay to really have one. Cool, and we'll do that one as well. And then we'll do windows there, windows there. This is a 3 by 2 door. That should be the height thing. Corners. Go ahead and do one more layer. Hmm. Let's do one like. One like that. Maybe. I'm gonna do that and then uh Okay, perfect. I think the Doors should be done, so let's go ahead and grab them. Perfect. Also, we'll need more frames, so let's make, like, 60 more. Get rid of the shovel quick. I'm just gonna get rid of this grass that's in front of the doorway. Okay, grass, okay. So, we can put this door here, and we'll go around the other side, and put this door here. Okay, just making sure it's going in the right direction here. Alright, we have that done. What do we need to fortify it? Forged iron? Okay. The doors all open, and what I'll do is I'll just come in here, whenever we finish up, Duration will take the. Of course, that doesn't work. Okay. I'll have to devise a way to get it to get in. Weird way to say that, but okay. Let's build this first. I'll build the roof and finish it. Then I'll figure out how I'm gonna put the bike inside. here in just a moment. sure it had a nice uh, height to it so it didn't get claustrophobic, you know? 
Alright. Finish this bad boy up quick. Excellent. Alright. So now let's finish the windows first. I'll do it like this. What's that? Oh. Why are you guys messing around my house? Huh? Look at y'all. What? We're already over here breaking my goddamn fences, man. What are y'all doing? Shame on y'all. All right. That's not how I wanted to place that, but okay. All right, nurse, come here. All right. Must be getting ready for the night if they're already coming at me, huh? Let's clear up some more grass around here. Need to figure out a good way to get the bike in here now. Thing. Getting out would be potentially easy. I could put some stairs, but I don't know how that would look. Um, let's see. What what shapes do we have to work with? We have slopes, stairs. Do we have anything like um an upside down wedge, maybe? Maybe that would work? Well, we might not be able to fit it there. True. Ball shape. Need a ball. We have... I mean, I guess if we take a wedge, right, and we do advanced with it... No, that's not going to help us at all. Okay, well... Do simple turning. Okay, so what if I place a wedge down here? We'll make another line here. Then grass. Always with the grass, man. So we'll do this. And what happens if I get the motorcycle in here now? Does it work? Kind of. Yeah, it's a little rough. Is there a is there, like, a less steep wedge? There is. How does this look over here? If I remove this. Gotta repair it first. Of course it broke. It, uh, it broke when we drove up. That's rough. Okay. Um, that's not how I wanted it to look at all. Copy shape, copy rotation. If I... Hmm. I want it to be up. I don't want it to be on the bottom there, right? Uh, is there another one that's like that, but a little bit different? Like, kind of like, yeah, maybe this? Because it's not as steep of a, uh, of a slope, right? Come at it here. There, did that damage it as well, or...? It did. Okay, well, we might just have to suffer through having the thing get damaged all the time. But at least we'll have the slope there. So. I'll put another one out here as well, just so I can come in either way I want. It doesn't matter too much. I wish I could, like, form up the ground better here, right? Anyway, here's the motorcycle. We have my storage chest there. And it should be pretty big enough for the 4x4 truck to get in as well whenever we want it to. And now we'll just go ahead and place some... Actually, do I need to place any more of these if they came through here? No. Okay. I'll go ahead and place some bikes around this as well. Here we go. Do another layer. Why not? 
I'm not going to worry about the, the front and the back of it. We'll just go along the sides. Okay. I think that'll be all for now, for that. Go ahead and turn this back into the square. Alright. I did close the other side, right? I did, okay. Cool. Well, that should be everything here. Come back into the thing. Right here, zombie. So that's just my own... Oh. Well, shoot. zombie trying to die. I really wanted them to like come into here, but ah, uh, maybe I should make a slope here too. Uh, I think I can just make a normal wedge here. Here we go. Let's build this up. That way the zombies they won't have like a lift, especially the crawlers. The crawlers might have gotten stuck on the uh, other parts and Kind of had some issues there. You know, I actually wonder if I were to maybe dig out a little bit more here. Now that I think about it. And let's get the 60 degree tip, right? If I can make it like... I'll look at the grass. If I can make it a nice, like, non-bumpy sort of like approach, right? Surely this should work. If it's even smoother and more gradual. Yeah, so now I'll just need to make it so there's not like a, a bump to get in here, right? If I just kind of go like this, get rid of some of the, the dirt that's around it, it's not going to be like a, I'm going down and hitting the side, right? have to deal with this area, but I should be able to get the bike into there, or whatever I'm using into there, and then just kind of add it up the slope. The exit I don't think matters too much, since I'll just kind of, you know, hit this, but I might as well do it here too, just to make it look nice, you know. We got plenty of time before the horde comes. So. Do like two more out. Okay. Place these bad boys here. Also, never finished making these, so do that. Mm -hmm. All right. That already looks better. Perfect. Now then. Hit this grass because I don't like where it's standing at. Okay, okay, okay. So what I might do now is we just have time to ourselves. So let's let's go in here, look at our stat points, kind of choose what we want to do. Also check the furnaces and stuff. This one could be getting full of ammunition. Don't want to have it overflow, you know. So we got a lot more play we can throw in there. Let's go ahead and transform these back into normal blocks, though, shall we? Oop, okay. Go ahead and throw these all in here. I do not think I'll need the hammer anymore, or the shovel for right now. Let's do that, and then I can put my bandages back on that slot. Okay. All right, so, for points. I have three available. So, what are we going to put them in? Do I have Lucky Looter's slot? I do not. Okay. So, we put... Right, so we have Motorcycle Maniac, which we already made the motorcycle, so we don't really need to worry about that. What was I, like, thinking about making? Forget. Uh, 
Okay, so this gives us experience from electrical trap kills. I think we should go ahead and get that. Let's grab that one, of course. Robotics Inventor. Craft tier 2 robots. Robots active range is increased. Deploy multiple robots. Be closest. Doesn't say anything about getting the experience, though. Okay. Electrocutioner. Um, I think this is just for the stun baton, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Ignore all that, then. What's Daring Adventure do? Additional choice for quest rewards and more dukes. Huh? Agility, we have Gunslinger, Run and Gun, Stealth, Parkour. None of that matters right now. Brawler is just melee. Machine Guns. Does that count the AK-47? It does. Okay. Fire faster and reload faster. Do more damage. We'll take that. Once we have a, an AK-47 that we'll be using primarily here. What else should we get? Deadeye is with rifles, right? Yeah, just normal rifles. Lock picking, infiltrator, piercing shot. Ignore armor with firearms and archery. I'm hammering something above me. Very loud. Okay, it stopped for now. All right. I have one more perk point left. Um, and I want more lucky looter. All right, so I think what would be good to have more of would be, man, I really want to get this stuff so I can get the, the 4x4 truck and stuff, you know. But also, on the other hand, I also want to get more Miner 69er and Special Tyrannosaurus and all that good jazz, right? Never enough stat points, right? Okay. I might get another point just in to Fortitude. So I do more damage with machine guns, right? Yeah. Let's do that for now, because we are going to be using machine guns a lot, right? Sure, sure, sure. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It is getting to be pretty late, but let's go ahead and do what we were going to do previously. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and go down this row and just punch all the grass. And we're going to plant some trees. We're gonna make a, a nice row of trees that we can harvest for wood later on. We'll just kind of go until we're around that rock. Darn it! Here we go. Oh, I need to eat and drink. A little bit further. I'm lost. I'm lost! Where's the... There it is. There's the square path that I dug through here to get... Okay. Either that one just grew back or I missed it or something. I don't know. What the hell's going on here? Alright, so let's go ahead and plant all the trees we can. Densely as possible. We have more trees to cut down in the future. I'll do one more. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Where's the next closest one I can put it on? Right there? Okay. Actually, maybe I don't have to hit the grass. I thought the, the grass might get in the way of me planting trees, but apparently not. Alright, 
Alright, so I think once the time hits uh, 20, I'll start going I'll go back inside, arm up with what I need, and prepare. Reload the guns, put the attachments on the guns that I need, and all that good stuff, you know? trees so if we just get a chainsaw our lives would be complete speaking of that's what i was going to look at god dang it i'm going to look to see when i can get a if i could get a chainsaw schematic without having to find the dang if i just get perk points unlocked Finish this row and then we'll go back in. Maybe one more row on the side too. Just, we'll just we come back to it, you know. There and then. Yeah. We'll have nice columns and rows of trees. It'll be beautiful when they grow. I might kind of get in the way though, like scenery and seeing zombies coming, but at least when they're tall, they'll just be trunks. We don't have to worry about the leafiness of them, right? And one more, and then we're done. Okay. Let's go ahead and get back inside before uh, night comes. Go around that. Okay, we'll close the door. Close that. Still melting down, but we have grass we can put in here now. Alright, store that stuff. We'll store the seed there. I need to eat and drink like it is my job right now. Let's go ahead and I'll, I'll go ahead and eat the meat stew. That'd be good. Okay. Next up, guns. And I guess ammunition. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna put my stuff away into here, so stuff that I do not need I'll put away. The stuff that I still want to take out. Oh. Oh. Oop. I'm not going to need that. I don't need my bow. Get rid of the steel arrows. Let's get a plaster cast. That. That. Just in case we need medical stuff while we're here. Let's go ahead and get my AK-47. Um, get the sawn-off shotgun. We'll have the hunting rifle. Do I want the hunting rifle, though? I feel like it would just be easier to have the AK for now. All right, and then let's take... I have two AKs, huh? Okay. Let's get this stuff out here. I'm not sure what exactly... All I can put on. Full auto, that's have a look at that. Cooling mesh. Let's see if I can put that on anything. Club thing. This is a shotgun tube extender. I don't think that's gonna be helpful for the shotgun. Bipod. I don't think that's gonna help here. Okay. Alright. Look at the modifications. So modify. That's that's done. Modify. Everything that I can put on there is on there. Make it 47, modify. Already got the extended mag and the muzzle break. What's this do? Able the regeneration ability of radiation zone. I don't think I've seen any of those, so I don't think it's going to matter too much. Modify. I might as well put something on the shotgun, right? Okay. Still don't know what these little suppressor caps are for. Uh, clothing. Let's see. Can I... Mm. 
Yeah, okay. I can't use this uh, cloth on anything that I currently have right now. Alright, so I'll go ahead and just grab all my ammunition. Every single piece of it that I can use right now. There we go, that's everything. Um, let's go ahead and repair our shotgun and our double barrel shotgun. Or our AKR double barrel. Grab this ammunition out of here. Anything cooking up here? It was not. Reload. Okay. All right, ladies and gents. Oh, we need water. <laughs> Make sure we uh, drink that before bad stuff happens, huh? We're not going to be able to come back here and get food and water after the horde starts. One more drink. Need one more boiled meat. We're heading out now. Okay. That's shut. That's shut. We're going to turn the generator on at the last possible moment. Did I not? A little bit AK-47. I guess I didn't. Okay, everything's loaded and ready. We are prepared. We are ready for this horde. If they decide to do what I want them to do. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. But, uh, hopefully they do. It'd be really nice if they decided to not do that. Are they really going to go try and go through that in order to get to me? Instead of going through the front door? Maybe the... Uh, maybe I should look at the damage values. Because if that door is more than it takes to get through two of the concrete blocks, then the zombies will be like, no, we're not going to go that way. <clears throat> All right. Generator on. Here they come. Start with a pistol. Yeah, they obviously want to try to get to the side still. Huh? Front door? Man. The guns are naughty. I don't like that. I think he's dead. He's dead now. Maybe they're trying to get through to the front door, but they're just like being dumb about it. Let me check over here on this side. They're only coming from this one side. Yep. Man, I wish I got points from them dying on wooden traps. I think they're trying to get to the front door, but they're just being dumb and going through the traps. That one needs to die. Okay. I can jump down here. Loot bag. Prepared for the sword, to be honest. I thought I just heard a cop start to puke. That construction zombie really wants to destroy all of those, huh? We actually got some boys attacking here, huh? It's doing it! It's working! Is the, uh... It doesn't seem to be spinning. Oh my god, I didn't turn this on. Here we go. 
Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Are those turrets not doing anything now? Oh my god, this is beautiful. Holy crap. Hey, can you guys not do that though? I might not even need to use the AK. <laughs> Holy shit. This is great. I think that's out of ammo. So that's the fine. Oh my god. This is so cool! Oh my god, it's working. It's just pushing them down. And I can just pop them in the head. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on, you, you guys are dicks. Get an experience for them dying to this trap too, so that's great. Jesus Christ. Touch the door except for that biker. And that's only because I did not have the uh, fence turned on. I think that one actually might be broke. The turret. I think that might be the tier one turret that was supposed to be broken. Oh, not. He passed underneath the uh, electrical vent. Oh my god, it's so good. Holy crap. Poor zombies are getting bullied. Shit. Yep, here comes the cops to ruin my day. Man, that one cop ruined everything. Oh, there's no reason to stand there anymore. Where at? Where, where are you getting from? Gotta make sure the cops die. Oh my god, the cops just keep hitting me. Assholes. As soon as I see a cop, I have to like just drain him.
the AK, repair the pistol. I'll use the shotgun for now. That whole place just got wrecked. Oops, fired too fast there. Can they not get up to the door now? Oh, I almost fell in there with them. Check that wall, come on guys. Get away from that door, boy. Yahoo's at. right side there. Those guys real quick. Might have to do the floor in concrete. back here. Okay, I'm going to mess with dust. Hey, no. Killed the blade trap? Oh my god, the jerks. How oh, the cops are blowing up? Speaking of, where the hell is he at? Ass hatchery will not stand. There's a dude. Ah. 
man. So disrespectful. Cops do the most damage out of everything. That one turret's still doing work though. Picking up, I'm gonna pick that turret up. Another loot bag. Another repair. Oh my god, sir. Can you not do that, though? He's dead. All dead? Good. It's almost morning. They gotta be stopping soon, right? Maybe we should build like a an upper wall area to prevent the cops from spitting their stuff at me. Speaking of which, I'm gonna use this med kit. If I do too many more, I might uh, There's another cop! He's down now. Turn this off. Bro. Yeah, you growling at me, cop, huh? Bubble up twice in the sword. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Are we done? Are we done? I think we're done. We have a little bit of stuff to rework for the next horde night. We need to, of course, refix our floor. We'll want to definitely figure out a way to prevent the cops from just assaulting us like that in the future, too. We still have plenty of ammunition and everything, too, so... All in all, it went pretty well. It went pretty well. Could have got a lot worse. Yeah, I've seen our previous Horde Knights. So definitely how worse it could have gotten. All right, well, I'll start over here. I'm just gonna grab the loot. In fact, I might actually, since they all came through like I wanted them to, I might just not worry about making traps on the side. Because they don't give me experience, which is not something I want, right? Give me turrets. Only one of them seems to actually do stuff, so I wonder if one of them broken. Um, one of them looks like it broke pretty much, yeah. Jesus Christ. Um, bike chassis, let's go ahead and... Oh, I can't scrap that, huh? Okay, well... Scrap those. Let's go ahead and go into here quick. All right. Well, that was a good night, I feel. It was uh, definitely something. Crap, I did not mean to do that. Let 
We gained some levels. We killed some things. Well, we killed a lot of things, let's be honest. <laughs> but, yeah. We did quite well. We definitely could have done a lot worse. Like, a hell of a lot worse. Like, we could have lost everything um, if things would have gone completely south, right? So, I feel like we, we came out alright. We came out pretty, pretty good. Go ahead and take this flashlight helmet mod. Can't scrap the helmet without taking that. Alright, go ahead and store my medical supplies. I'm just storing the ammunition. I'm going to go ahead and store the uh, turrets and stuff down here as well. Medical stuff that I don't need, I'll store in here quick. Um, I actually have a better sledgehammer now, so that's good. Arrows, take my bone shift, take my bow. Perfect. Nope. Herbal medicine can go in there. Brass scrap I'll put in here to deal with later. So much stuff to just go through after the horde, right? Alright, let's use this. Use this. I'll drink a bottle of water. I can throw the rest of this stuff in here. Okay. Guns. Throw my guns back into here. Um, go ahead and take out my hammer so I can repair stuff. Oh my god, I got two iron sledgehammers? God. I'll scrap one of them, don't need both. Uh, we have a bike chassis here, which we can't really do anything with, fortunately. Use that foregrip schematic. Um, just thinking here. We got the baton parts, motor parts. Any parts here that I don't really need? I don't really need machete parts. I'm not going to make those, so let's go ahead and toss them in here so I can sell them. Sell that. Wrap that. Toss this stuff over to here. How's that looking? Good. Ammo finished crafting finally. <laughs> Alright. So. We need to do just a little bit of maintenance. I think. Outside. Go ahead and make... A little bit more concrete mix too. Okay. All right. Also need to finish grabbing these loot bags. Okay. okay I took out one of my electric fences, which is not ideal here. But at least it gives me an excuse now to tear that area up. I'll just kind of fix up what I can here. And I don't think I want to tear up anything I don't have to. Yeah, we're out of... We are out of... Concrete right now, which is not great. They really tried to get in. Like they were, they were trying. Okay. Door's fully maxed. They, they did the number on the door. I'm almost kind of proud of the zombies. Actually, I'll start up uh, bullet tips. I'm 
gonna need more of those. All right. Let me grab my shovel too, just real quick. Shovel. And then I'll do what I should have done here a while ago. Not that. It doesn't fall. Excellent. Okay. This area got hit pretty bad with the uh, zombies damaging the walls. I think most of the damage up there was just from me getting spit on and hitting the walls with my gun, to be completely honest. Okay, there we go. Ignore that for now. I'm already thinking about how to improve this too, so we'll definitely be ready next time. Kind of going over the walls here, seeing where I need to heal. I'm sure, they didn't do much damage to the walls, but it would be nice to make sure everything's good because if we let it stay damaged, too many hordes, it'll eventually fall, you know? Okay, perfect. So everything now is concrete inside here, which is just extraordinary. Um, So I think having this block here actually might have helped us a bit because if it wasn't, they would have just been able to just jump over the, the spinny wheel, but instead they had to go around it every time they wanted to uh, do something there, right? So that was pretty cool. How did our little garage fare? They, they really came right into it, huh? Not bad, okay. Well, our base survived and that is what is important. So. I'm already thinking about improvements, like I said. I got a number of them. I got the ideas, Jason, right? I'm just gonna make this symmetrical. I'm not gonna take out everything. I'll put that there so it, it looks like that, and then we can put another blade trap there, because that worked out nicely. But we, we ran into a couple of issues. First issue was the cops spewing at us from around here. And then when a cop got inside and blew up in there, it really caused a lot of damage. To, uh, the the area. And once the zombies also got into um, here, and I think they damaged these things, which caused them to stop working. It wasn't really that great. Also, the, the little punching things didn't seem to do much. So I might actually put another electrical fence in here to uh, do some like lines of defense, right? And I might also put one here as well, just in the front just to kind of slow them down and progressively, as they go through, they take damage. Just in the future is what I'll plan to do there. Um, I'll probably put like, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out next time we get close to Horde Night. I don't want to spend a lot of time messing around with um, all that, you know? Let's go ahead and for now, Switch over to our new hammer. Ah, yes. Beautiful. All right. So for now, I think we're good in terms of what we are doing here. Let's go ahead and throw my tools back in there. Throw my materials back into there. That up there. And then everything's good. Everything looks peachy keen and just perfect, right? Okay. I'm not cooking anything because I don't have anything to cook. Done. I'm not going to use that on anything else right now. Make sure everything looks good here. Okay, it does. Perfect. So, you know what? Let's take all of this. We'll go on a trip into town real quick and what's going on? How's the gas? Good. We're doing good there. Managed to protect our motorbike, which was really all we can ask for. Well, 
That's great. So we can stop by the uh, airdrop first, I think. And then we can go to the trader. Trade the stuff we have. Go to that uh, clear quest. Complete that. Turn it in again. And we might wrap up things after we do that. I'm just going to see. Oh, we also leveled up, too. Forgot about that. So, uh, focused on fixing our base up. But, but yeah, it turned out great. The whole the whole base worked exactly how I wanted it, more or less. In hindsight, I should have used cement on the floor as well. I forgot the cops would just spew and blow up in there after they took a certain amount of damage and got big and grief. So it makes sense that you know, the, the interior got a little messed up. But the traps worked like a charm. The electrical trap especially was beautiful. And like you could not ask for more than the corrupt. Allowing us to very easily, with the pistol, aim and shoot him in the head. We got some melee mods or melee weapons. Also we got some antibiotics, which is nice. Before we do anything, let's go ahead and get this pig. Not the pistol, damn it. I'm gonna attract zombies now. Can't believe I shot the dead pig. Doors behind me. Okay. What a wonderful day. What's up, sir? Uh, your inventory. And I'll just sell you my stuff. Sell all the parts for stuff that I do not want or need. Making quite a tidy profit here. All right, let's open this. It's a melee mods bundle. Um, that is a fire. A burning shaft mod. A melee weapon can be terrible as a light source to set enemy on fire. It can be installed on melee tools that have a long shaft or blade. Oh. Like. Can I install it on this? Oh my god. What's this do? Lowers degradation. Oh man, but I want that. And this one does stamina usage? Mmm, man. It doesn't do damage, unfortunately. If I had a better quality bat, I would put that on. But right now, I don't want to. Oh. I figure I have a bunker buster on that. Yep, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and sell you this bunker buster. And this wire that I don't need. All right, what else do you have for me, sir? Night Stalker, volume 10. You do extra damage against, do I have that? Volume seven? Come again. Night Stalker, Night Stalker, Night Stalker, volume seven. I do not have that. I'll take that book, sir. Thank you kindly. Cover up and roll. Reduce chance to be lit on fire. Come back sometime. Firefighter's Almanac, volume five. Reduce chance to be lit on fire. Already got that one. Let me learn this before I accidentally sell it or something. All right, what else you got? SWAT helmet. Okay. You got some sink and stuff. You got food, gunpowder. Got a forge and a chemistry station. Large pipes. Antibiotics. I already found a bunch of antibiotics. A trip wire post. Huh. Okay. Got serrated blade, magazine, all that kind of stuff. Hubcap mine. Electrical post, nickel spears, stuff. Uh, Maybe any better weapons than what I got. It does though, so it's fine. How much concrete mix can I get? I can get a thousand concrete mix, but I can make my own. It's not that important. Well, there's always Shamway up the road. You can try looting. There's not a sham way up the road, sir. 
I've already searched this whole place. You don't have to lie to me. So there was a zombie that was coming nearby, right? There he is. Hey, bud. Oh, that didn't kill you? I figured since you were uh, that close to the fence, you would have taken some damage, but I guess not. All right, let's do that quest. Then we can turn back into the trader. Oops, farm some experience. Also, forgot to look at my bats again. So, uh, whatever. What did I invest in last time? I know I put a stat point in the rifle thing, maybe? Was it? No. All right, let's clear this out nice and quick like we usually do. I do want to search this bus, but of course there's nothing good in it. Let's take these zombies out. Two bags. Nice, got some pistol ammo. And here's gasoline, that'll come in handy. We got a uh, crate up here. Helpful to have. Ooh, we got a ratchet? Nice. Not that we need the ratchet right now, because we can make the uh, pneumatic thing just as good, if not better. Golden rod T. Comes the dust storm. Where the hell did you come from, bud? Very easy clear. Okay. Let's just loot everything we can real quick, like. I don't want to spend too much time here if you don't have to. Working the stiffs crate. Come on, give me an auger or something. I just really need one. Okay. Well. While we're in here, let me look real quick. So I went into this one, right, last time? Yeah. Okay, but I think what I might do this time is go into here. Okay. Perfect. Now, next time I can get the lucky looter, which would be nice. Is there a perk? Craft better stuff, craft better stuff. Frog. Let me look. Auger. Just auger schematic. What about chainsaw? Chainsaw, chainsaw schematic. Okay. I was, I was wondering if maybe it would have like a. Uh, some of them have like a skill stat that you can get to unlock the ability to do the uh the building like like i made a motorcycle i could if i got the, the motorcycle perk level i could just make a motorcycle that and find the schematics in the portal but it looks like that is not the case for the auger and the chainsaw which yep. As the, the game drags on, um, words will get more and more. Uh, like you saw, we're running into cops and stuff now, which is hurting us and all that. So, we will start to see stuff that is going to do more damage. We'll probably also find more of those Leaper Boys who will try to leap over to us and stuff. Must be mad like Needle and Fred, learn how to craft double pocket mods. I already know that. So, give me this camo. What do you got for jobs? More tier 1, so we have clear zombies to the south. We'll do that one since it's close by. Looks like it was a gas station too, so we can get some stuff while we're there. Let's see, steel tool, machine gun, grave digger mod. 
this. Shotgun parts, okay. Hey, bud. Trade me. Take that. You want glass? No. Okay. Put the glass away. You know what? I'm not going to my bike. I might as well put it in the bike. I figure today we'll just do quests. Why not? Why shouldn't I? Uh, uh, okay. Don't kill me. I thought that the barbed wire might hurt, but it did not. Get fuck dog. Is it like raining and having a dust storm right now? Is that what's going on in this place? Hmm. Through here, I think I can get by. All right. Before we hit that marker, since it respawned all the loot, might as well do this and see if I can get some more engines and stuff. Look at the gas tanks. Oh, I got the dog right there. Deal with that. If I see a dog coming at me, I'm just gonna shoot it. I'm not gonna mess around with trying to do that nonsense. Where's it at? Underneath there, okay. Whatever. While he's recovering, I'm gonna come out here and move this real quick. There we go. Right, this black sedan should give us some... Maybe an engine, maybe? There we go, there's an engine. Turn your head, man. Damn it. Hope you're still alive. My bad. You're feral, apparently. Okay. Close that door. Can we save in here for a moment? Break into these real quick. Trying to get into there. You dead? You're not dead. There you go. Now you're dead. Of course, unlocked as well. I'm gonna kneecap you real quick, lady. Beautiful. What do we have down here? Anything? Nope. That's what I thought. Hey, you run away. Coming in here like you own the place. How dare you. Okay. That's clear. All that's clear. There is one more place to look at, which is up here, wherever this leads to. Let him hit me. God dang. Bridge over to here, which has this. It's just trash, but also this guy here. He's here too, huh, bud? Okay. Not bad. Dog down there. 
Build in the shadows and sneak better at night. Better to learn it. I know that. Scrap it. I know that. Scrap it. Uh, learn it. Get rid of that. Can't scrap that, so scrap that. Get rid of those. Scrap that. Get rid of that. Use this. Scrap that. Scrap that. Use this. Keep the lamb rations. Both of them. Drink the yucca juice. Reorganize real quick. Down these vitamins. Over here, quick. Okay, this area is clear. Excellent. The brass, throw that down. How's this dog at? Dog. Yep. All right, let's begin. Actually, let's do this first. Okay. Now let's go. Boop. Zombies might have changed up where they spawn and stuff too, so that's something we should watch out for. Get this car out of the way. The crawler is secondary. Let's take this guy out first. At least knock him down. There we go. Boot bag. Hey, stripper, how you doing? Gonna knock you down, thank you. Yep. Can I take these apart? Hmm, I can. They drop forged steel. Take this crawler down. I don't want him to get any ideas. He's already dead, never mind. Um. Else can I take apart? It's a hazmat zombie. Don't know why he's in a gas station, but okay. Maybe he was the one transporting fuel. Yep. Lock picks. Excellent. One's in the bathroom. I don't care about searching it either. Seeds. I don't need those. All right, now let's bonk this a couple times. Bonk this a couple times. Nice. I don't know what that one part was, but I'll take it. There's no zombie back here. Okay. What is this? It's a vehicle. Fuel Saver mod? Oh my god, that's really helpful right now. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna go back to my bike and drop some stuff off. Okay, 
Yep. Black sedan. Tear it apart. So we get another engine. No, but we got a brass radiator for more brass. Okay. More up with that. All right, up here we go. Zombie this time. Little trash. Going. Okay, let's hit this construction worker in the head. And we'll deal with the biker like normal. He's down. And that was all the zombies, so now we can loot in peace without having to worry about anything else coming up to get us. Unless it's a vulture, because those guys are dead. Okay. Uh, bandage, get rid of that. Machine gunner! Craft M60 machine guns. Alright, now make those. I'm gonna scrap that. Radiator go right there. Scrap the wood splitter mod. Scrap those iron arrows. Let's scrap that. Well, everything right? Yeah, grab everything up there. No. Okay. Cooler. Clothing. Paper and. Which doesn't matter. All right, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Everything here. Let's go back to the bike. First of all, open. Let's go ahead and add this fuel saver mod. That'll be very handy with the bike since it uses more fuel than before with the mini bike. It's so satisfying the like fast turn that happens. So cool. Okay. What do we have here? Anything that I want to sell? Doesn't look like it. Store everything that I don't want. Be back to pistol ammo though. Thank you. Matter up volume with this. Learn to craft a metal chain modification to increase your stock in the wheelchair business. Oh, okay. I don't think I know that one, so I'll take it. Um I could really use some help, friend. It's rare to sure. I'll color out some more zombies. <clears throat> I'd like to trade with you quick though. That's everything I want to sell. Yes. Can I sell these lights, though? Might as well sell the lights. I have plenty of them. Thanks, Let's go. Survivor. Check back soon. Get new yeah. We're just going to go on a quest hunting spree real quick. Nothing else to do right now, so we might as well do as many as we can that are close by. Try and get him tier two quests so we can get a little bit more uh, experience and pay. I don't know how many we have to do in order to level it up, but. Fine. Oh, 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 oh. Lost control. Correct that. There we go. Is it that house? Yes, it is. Alright, so I don't really care about any loot in this house. We're just gonna hit it and quit it. Zombies! Zombies! There's one. Whoa, on the bed! Wait, are you good? Wait, are you good? Nope, she's not good. Well, um... Quick. 
I guess we'll need to be careful about where we move in this house, huh? I'm gonna try to stay in the top here. To the bathroom, clear. Here, this room, bookshelf. Decent and unusually. Let's clear this roof. Hey, bud. Close that real quick. Anything good up here doesn't look like it. Okay, he's down. With this. Alright, let's go. Top floor is clear. Gotta worry about the next bottom levels and such. Anything in the kitchen? I'm not sure if this person's gonna count as someone who's in the house or not. Ow! Where'd that lady come from? There should have been no one else here. Oh, they come from the other side of the house? And they broke through the door, yep. Like it. Yep, well. Let's get downstairs. Through there, I want to deal with. Yep, she's gone. Check back here quick. Bird nest. Okay. Here. Oh, hey, crawler. Be the last guy. You are. Excellent. Love to see it. All right, we got a paintbrush and some lead. I'll take the paintbrush. Or the lead, I mean. Not the paintbrush. <laughs> what I'm saying anymore. That. Uh, any other loot in here that is high value loot, or is everything just garbage? It's a horse bag. We have nothing really. Okay. Well, that's fine. Get out of here and talk to the trader again and get one more quest. We haven't leveled up with all the experience we've been getting from these quests yet. I hope the truck feels as nice to drive as this bike does. It might be a little more unwieldy though, considering it's a truck. I won't be able to turn as quickly, but it should still be neat. Duke's Casino Thanks. Token Experience. Okay, give me the shotgun shells. What you got for jobs? I think I'm very supply them if I have to. Okay. Good luck. 
What do we got from scrap? That. Ready? Take those. Take those. Oh, okay. Thank you, kind sir. Where's the buried supplies at? Down there next to home. Okay, perfect. That actually works really well for us. So let's go home, drop off our gear, and then we will get our shovel and go to the buried supplies. Worked out quite well. What the hell was that? Zombie dog, okay. And you can really see the uh, efficiency of that modification for the, the fuel usage, because we've barely lost any after we put that on. It's only gone down a little bit. It's back to like mini bike levels of fuel loss. Just great. I'm glad we found that. That was a real good find. Like, real good find. I'm not going to have it. Barrett supplies are in the forest biome there, so stop by that next. We should be getting close to the tier two. He's not letting us do anything else. Also, I'm not going to park outside in my garage. I'm just going to whip it around. I'll go ahead and open this up and just take everything we can here. Yep, let's go. Okay. Throw everything. Um, throw everything. Everything. Except I want that ammunition. Not that ammunition. This ammunition. Throw everything. Seeds too. For that coal. Got the engines here. These parts. These parts too. That food. That food. Oh, the recog, I can sell them. Hey, okay, what did that say up there? Oh, stuff to sell. Oh. Anyway, uh, we also have this pistol, which uh, uses 9mm, huh? How's this compared to my current pistol? It's a little bit better, but it's also just a six round mag, so I might just sell this too. If we're being honest, so. Move that stuff up there. Okay. Shovel, right? Shovel, 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 shovel. Let's go. Hopefully, we can get the buried supplies and get back to the trader before night falls so we can get one more quest. That'd be ideal. Maybe we can even level up to tier two and get one of those quests to do at night. That would be handy, wouldn't it? I leveled up yet? No. Almost. Come on. Level me up. What are we waiting for? Alright. There's supplies. Let's go. Hopefully I don't have to take underneath my bike or anything. It's gonna be underneath my bike. That's just it's just gonna be there. I just know it. Where's the circle? Not there. Oh my god, okay, where where's it at? Found it. Very food stash. Go, he says as he falls in the pit. Oh, oh. oh, you almost had me, lady. That was not ideal to have happen right now. Might as well kill these guys. stuff back so let's do that real quick we're not too far from home so maybe we can afford to do that before we go back food 
Oop. Oop. <laughs> also, I forgot to shut my door, didn't I? I really just did that, didn't I? God damn it. Okay, well. Okay. Uh... I can't believe I just took all. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Is everything? That food and stuff goes here. The ammunition that goes there. That and that go there. Okay, we're done. Let's go. I'm gonna keep the shovel just in case we get another buried treasure. We can deal with that. Let's go. Maybe I should head up some auto parts shops. Maybe I'll actually find more uh, modifications for uh, the bikes and stuff now. Although, of course, maybe not. Also a thing. Oh. I definitely think we'll get Lucky Looter next when we level up. Because maybe we're just not at the threshold we need to be in order to loot the top tier stuff, which would be augers and paint sauce and stuff. Um... Yeah, we should definitely be able to get to the trader before night falls now, but we won't be able to start in the next quest until mornings. Unless the next quest is something like, hey, just say hi to me. <laughs> Which, that's not a quest. So. You know. Two dogs, huh? That one was limited. Maybe that's the one I hit before. Okay. I always want to touch that chemistry station to make sure there's nothing there that I can well, trade with. Me, All right, what have we got here? Four grip mod here is your payment. or antibiotics. Look at the antibiotics. Um, oh, tier one completed. Heck yeah. So I can get traps, melee, cloth armor, a wood variable shape helper. Honestly, I kind of want the trap bundle, but also... That melee weapon bundle had that weird thing in it, so I think I want that. Any special jobs? Opening trade routes. Okay. I think you can help. Godspeed. What are the jobs you got? Or just normal barrel supplies, huh? You the man. Okay. Well. Pleasure doing business with you. Open this up. A lot of stuff I don't need, to be honest. Um, a weighted head mod might help. Uh, modification for all melee weapons and tools. Chance to add stun and slow victim. You come okay. back sometime. Hit modify. I can put that on, but chance to stun and slow. You know what? Nope, don't need it. Spell it. Peace be with you, okay. friend. All right, so I'm gonna close this door real quick so I can look the map. So we had a new quest. Go which direction? That direction? There's another trader there? Oh, we just passed by that without even seeing the trader, huh? Okay. Well, we have to do that tomorrow. What about the uh, buried treasure one? This one is nearby home. Cool. Let's head home then for the day. We'll grab that buried treasure before we go home, but at least we'll have it after that, right? I think once we get home after the uh, buried treasure, we'll die dog, all things there. For the stream, just because it's getting a little late for me. And we've been streaming for four hours, which is longer than usual for me. But uh, yeah. So we, we did a lot of good stuff today. We uh, got some decent loot, mapped out a little bit of the towns to the uh, northwest. We did a bunch of quests here was great. We got up to tier two on this guy, so that was perfect. Um, we have an excuse to go to the, the northwest town again to search that out. We might have to do that tomorrow morning. Well, we can uh, use that as an excuse to go to the town, talk to the trader up there. All right. Nice little divot right here, huh? Not falling that hole, though. Oh, perfect. It's sand. Excellent. I need sand. I need so badly. Alright. 
Do you think I need to dig a little deeper though? Now I'll just keep digging. There it is. Found her. Excellent. All right, let's kill these zombies that are nearby real quick. One more, and he's going to run here just now. Let's pop him in the face, knock him down, and splatter his brains. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Let's not drive into the hole this time. around here, slowly get into this, Then I don't think we damaged anything, so that's perfect. Close that door, close that door, yeah, it looks good, perfect. Trees are growing up nice, like I said, when they're young, they're gonna look a little bad, but right for now, okay. So let's toss our stuff to sell up there. Not that chest, this one here, we got our food. We got some medical stuff in there, and we have a bunch of that, so let us take this stuff and throw it in the cement mixer to get some stuff. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Oh, well, as I said, we did pretty well today. I'm going to turn this off so it doesn't waste wood. Uh, I'm going to take the gunpowder and the casings. I might actually go make more 762. It does take forever to make. Okay, now I'm low on gunpowder, and gunpowder I need. Gunpowder. Coal and nitrate. Okay. I think I'm low on coal and nitrate, so. We won't be able to make any more gunpowder for a while, but we do have 200 rounds there. Although I think we went through almost a thousand rounds last time. So. Yeah. Anyway. Not quite leveled up yet, so. All right, everyone, we'll end things here for today. Like I was saying, thank you all for hanging out and watching. Thanks to Hexed Zombie for subscribing during the stream there. And, oh, yeah, it's gonna be great. Next time, we're gonna, I, th I think tonight, what we might do is just dig around a little bit. It's, um, uh, maybe try to find a coal supply. Maybe just get some sand too. Because regardless, we can do some mining tonight. And when morning starts to arrive, we'll head up to that town. So we can talk to the trader and do that established trade mission. To finish that off. Then explore the town a little bit. See what it has to offer in that area. Because if we look at the map, go back to the map here. We never really did too much around this town. We just did that town a lot. So there's so much in this middle area that's probably there that is just waiting to be tapped and opened up. So that'll be all. Actually, we might go to the first trader we've been talking to first, trade with him, and then go to that one, uh, just because we do have that quest to turn in there. But that'll be all for today, everyone. So thank you for listening, watching, hanging out, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye for now.